Welcome to EDU AMP. Um, this is a GCSE physics lesson um, and it's all about atmospheric pressure. This is a diagram showing you atmospheric pressure and what we've got here is I've got a balloon, I've got the air particles there inside the balloon and these particles are hitting the wall creating this pressure on the outside I've also got the air particles they're hitting the wall so therefore what is happening is you've got the atmospheric pressure inside due to the air particles and then inside this balloon I've then again got pressure pushing out and that pressure pushing out is all due to the helium particles moving around now if this balloon staying at the same shape this must mean I have balanced forces. In other words, the outside pressure and the inside pressure must be the same. Now they can ask you to go in keywords to explain why you get air pressure, and these are the key words you need to use. You've got to start talking about the gas particles, and these gas particles could be the, all the air particles on the outside here, and what they're going to do is they're going to collide or you can use the word hit. Okay, and I'm going to call this the balloon wall. Hit that wall, and therefore they're going to create a force. And they create that force over an area, and therefore this creates something called atmospheric pressure. And you've got to be able to use keywords in exam questions to make sure you answer the question correctly. So it's getting these keywords in. In other words, you've got to get in the fact gas particles collide, hit the wall, create a force over an area, and that's going to create atmospheric pressure. 